Welcome to Soch or Sociology 310 Sociological Theories. I'm Dr. Barbara Walters. As many of you know, I am a professor of sociology and the academic director of the program, and I am very excited to be teaching sociological theory this semester. Sociological theory, our foundations of sociological theory, is the second level in the required sociology core or required uh, curriculum. This version of the course is quite different in that rather than focusing on theory as a noun, we will focus on theorizing as an activity and one that we hope will help in building the skills you need to one, complete the degree, but then two, gain some traction uh, for a planned career once you graduate. Another key difference in this version of the course is our emphasis on race, class, and gender intersections, so that whereas in the past sociological theory has typically dealt with a tradition of white European male sociological theorists, this one integrates lectures and important papers by contemporary sociological theorists who are women. In each instance, the case uh, is that the woman was the president of one of our national regional associations. Additionally, there's an explicit connection here between theory or theorizing and the collection of data or evidence so that the course to a certain extent is in tandem with Research Methods 201 or introdu Introduction to Research Methods. The, the connection highlights a focus on sociology as a social science. Sociological theory, of course, is part of a tradition, a traditional academic discipline in the liberal arts Sociology is a modern discipline that emerged in the midst of secular intellectuals of the 18th century. Secular means here the displacement of religious or mystical explanations of human phenomena by scientific ones. The emphasis in sociology and other sciences that emerged in the late 18th century and throughout the 19th century was on humans and human control of the universe through reason and empirical research to a certain extent modeling on the earlier natural sciences. Other relevant trends in the 19th century especially that influenced the problematic or the problems addressed by sociology were the political revolutions of the 19th and actually the late 18th century, the industrial revolution or the movement away from uh, handcrafted production of goods to mass enterprise and mass industrial production of goods, urbanization or the movement of people into cities, and the growth of science as a way of explaining the natural and eventually the social world. The course is organized to make the concepts and make the theories fall into place for you. Traditionally, sociological theory is organized into three sociological perspectives. You probably encountered these in Introduction to Research Methods. The conflict tradition, uh, which has its origins typically traced back to the 19th century in Europe and the work of Karl Marx, although perhaps this might be traced back to an earlier time of uh, Thomas Hobbes and what we would call the Hobbesian dilemma, or how is a social order possible at all. A second tradition is the Durkheimian or functionalist tradition with its origins in 19th century Europe and the work of Durkheim, eventuating in the 20th century in the work of Talcott Parsons and Robert Merton. And finally, the symbolic interactionist tradition, which was rooted in the ethnographic work of sociologists typically out of the Chicago School in the early 20th century urbanizing America. Typically theories are, can be categorized as 
uh, addressing one of four levels, the micro level or face-to-face -face interaction in small groups, the meso level or the level of organizations, the macro level or the societal level, and the global level of globalization in the contemporary world. And so we'll begin this semester uh, in the first week with a reading of the sociological imagination followed by uh, some work in grounded theory and theorizing, and then the Chicago School uh, rooted in the context of uh, urbanization and conflicting ethnic groups in Chicago, or early 20th century, late 19th century Chicago, uh, focusing on culture and community. The thrust of the Chicago School is the interpretation of human inter interaction through symbols, and we will be looking at the work of Don Dewey, George Herbert Mead, and Jane Addams. I've added to this first unit uh, the work of Cynthia Epstein, former president of the American Sociological Association, and Christine Bosey, who is the former president of the Eastern Sociological Society. So I'm very much looking forward to our work together this semester, and I wish you every success.